like a lot of people are not aware of what, well, people here <laughs> eat for breakfast, okay? So it is important for you to understand that our breakfast isn't like the fancy ass things you see on the internet where people are like uh, making a smoothie bowl and like taking the time to decorate their oat weirdness thingy. <laughs> No, this is how we grew up, okay? Balkan Dad, can you make the ultimate Balkan breakfast? Ho ho ho! I'm a any good Balkan breakfast is started with a rakia to kill the bacteria, ketchup, chopping board, the fat part of the slanina, which is a smoked ah, pork slanina. belly, is great for frying eggs, oh, smoked man, I sausage want some. as well. <laughs> then when it lets the fat, you put the eggs to fry while that's cooking. We wash the tomato, green oh, onion, man, this looks so good. them to prepare. When the eggs are done, you're gonna always no salt them. You your brain flavor. Ooh, kobaya, oh, paradise, that looks so feta nice. cheese. Then you have to salt the tomatoes, use your brain. Then we need a pick of vegetables, <laughs> brain, I love spread, that. fresh yogurt, slina, kobasica, onion, garlic, fresh bread. And to be fancy, we're going to garnish with a fresh parsley. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> what the fuck? Makakaf parsley bread. Fui. <laughs> yes. Time to eat. Now in the Balkans, we eat on a... <laughs> for that <laughs> you can make the breakfast look fancy don't get me wrong right like to me uh the plating is very important on our own oh like before we continue the video first of all i've like there are so many people on tiktok that for some reason they're doing this trend of balkan breakfast with like uncut some raw tomatoes or like uncut veggies and they just bite into them and we're just like uh you know we usually cut them right i mean it's optional but like we do usually have utensils to cut stuff with <laughs> i know it's it's weird but um yeah <laughs> i americans have been jumping on this trend and just like it's just shocking. Just how many people don't know that. Oh, and another thing that I noticed. You guys don't have drinkable yogurt. I like I've watched so many people in the US be like, drinkable yogurt? And then they just dilute yogurt with some water. And I'm just like, you guys don't get that to buy? Like, huh? Where's your sauna? Where's your kefir? Where's your like liquid yogurt stuff? <laughs> I'm just so shocked and confused by that. We have that in Canada, it's surprising to me. Yeah, I was shocked too that there are people that don't know what drinkable yogurt is. Iran, mm, I love a good Iran. It's probably my favorite out of them. <laughs> ah, it's 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 a bit salty as so well. It's just so it hits the spot every time. Oh. A principle of svepo malo. You take a little bite of everything, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. all the delicious flavors are in your mouth. And to swallow it down, we finish with that fresh yogurt. The combination of flavors, my friend, is simply well. Uh, so there you go. Let me know mm -hmm. what your ultimate Balkan breakfast would be in the. Yep, yep. Like he's not wrong. Like this is a hearty breakfast. If you go to a household. Or breakfast, or like appetizers in general. This is what's on our table. This is what you're gonna see. You're gonna see a lot of like, um, mezelur, which is kind of like the processed meats, like the salami and, <laughs> and whatnot, like bacon here that you see. You have, um, zakuska, which you can spread on bread. It's kind of like a veggie paste mix. And like, yeah, it's like just the sauces, some tomatoes, some bit of salted tomatoes, a like couple of eggs. Ain't seeing that zakuska. <laughs> oh, you gotta have pickles as well, you know. 
But this is just Welcome one of them. Day. Here's another He's one. Back in Serbia. And since I have been gone, the internet is going crazy for the Balkan breakfast. But everybody is missing the most important thing. Drinkable yogurt. See? Yogurt. What I mean by that is, when you get a cup and you pour it, you see the consistency, it is drinkable. It's kind of like don't milk, worry. yeah? If you live in America, anywhere in the world, and they do not have this <laughs> drinkable yogurt, I have a solution. Cup. Greek yogurt. Mm -hmm. In the cup. Just dilute some cup, Greek in word. The cup. Add a little bit of water and mix slowly. Like a consistency of a pancake mix. Now you have successfully replicated <laughs> Balkan yogurt. You can also drink kefir or iron if they sell it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now Balkans are not barbarians. We do use cutlery, we do use plates, okay? See? It is not like we are eating from the fucking ground, the bread. I didn't see this one. I, like, I didn't see this one. I saw like the, the one that I showed earlier and then people reacting to that, right? And it's just so crazy that we're basically saying the exact same thing. It's like, guys, guys, chill. <laughs> You just pull a little bit off at a time. This is the best part. Oh, wow. the and bread. before we eat, we prepare the body, kill the bacteria with Zerakia. Zerli, cheers. <laughs> okay, I gotta say, this one, I don't think this one's upheld as much in the city. <laughs> at least not in, not by my family. <laughs> uh, it is in the countryside, though. Only drink if you are old enough. Drinking age in the Balkans is 12. <laughs> Use your brain salt <laughs> on the tomato. It's not the wrong. Eggs. Now, how you eat is sve pomalo, little by little. Uh. Bite of that, bite of that drink. Now you're gonna see. Nobody in the Balkans eats this for <laughs> breakfast. Hi, I'm nobody. <laughs> I used to eat this for breakfast all the time. What do you mean? Oh, I'm literally buying eggs now so I can go back to making my normal breakfast stuff. Most people eat this. You just make a bit of eggs, a bit of toast with some, like, with a fresh tomato, with a bit of green onion, with a cucumber, with a bit of feta cheese. It doesn't have to be as much as he's putting right here, right? Mm. He's making me hungry now. I need to finish ordering food. <laughs> I need to finish ordering the food, man. The onion is spicy. When you put the yogurt, it turns down the spice. It puts everything together. The flavor combination mm -hmm. is out of this world. But you have to slurp. <laughs> you have to slurp. Right? <laughs> Hot. Uh, you know the best part is when people look at you weird because you're eating raw garlic. You're just eating bulb. <laughs> that's another thing that's fairly common here. I don't know why people look weird at us for that. They're like, oh my god, your breath is gonna stink. It's like, as if you don't have mouthwash and products and gum and yeah. <laughs> oh, garlic is amazing. Anyway, yeah, that's um, that's all I wanted to share about. A bit of our breakfast here, okay? It's very... Just slap things together and enjoy type meals. But they are pretty hearty. <laughs>